Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to fillet a channel catfish. And uh, I just caught this guy maybe about an hour ago. And I mean it's already sunset but usually I'll stay until dark but I'm going to get this guy filleted and then I'm going to go home. I'm a little tired. And I got to go back to school tomorrow which sucks. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it this way. So... Hopefully, it's balanced enough. All right. So yeah, he's still kind of, still a little alive. Still kind of, still kind of alive. So make sure you have a sharp fillet knife, um, of course. And uh, <clears throat> give me a sec. Oops. Okay. Oops. Yeah, still alive. That's okay. I tried to pop him in the head. I'm going to try to pop him in the head real quick. I don't know how effective this is, but my grandfather did this and usually knocks him out. Oh, yeah, he's going out. He's going out. Okay. Yeah, he's going out. He'll do. He'll be okay. He's going out fast. So, and I like to take the belly. This is about a three-pound catfish, and I like to take the belly meat. Uh, off my catfish. I like the belly meat. So if you're gonna take off the belly meat Put the fin right between the uh, crevice I can show you just go in from, from Well Y'all know what this is. I'm just gonna you know so I'm gonna get on this side and do it. I mean so I do just you know just just go along the skin just go right in Just go along the skin. Don't even worry. Don't even try to cut into the meat. If you get like a little bit into the meat, it's okay. But keep your blade on the outermost part at all times. So hold on. Oh, crud. Yeah, I think I need to sharpen my knife. It was sharp before. Yeah, see, I kind of punched through the gut sack, but that's okay. So hold on. Gosh. Yeah, I really do need to sharpen my knife. And just go. All the way till you feel like a bone on the neck area. It's like right here, about where the bone is. So we're gonna stop right there. Now let's see. Um, yeah, I think I can get an okay amount of belly meat off of that. Yeah. All right. Now, staying on here, staying right here. I like to now go through, go out. Uh, let's see. Whoops. I'm trying to get my knife in. Knife's being a little stubborn. Um, so let's see. So just go. Just stay outside of the meat. Stay. Yeah. Okay. Just stay on the outside of the meat and try to go. Yeah, I need to sharpen my knife. I really thought it was still pretty sharp. I mean, it's still sharp. It ain't the dullest, but there we go. So now just... Here we go. So now here. So now you just go on the bottom, right above the anal fin. Just, you know, poke through the skin. Come on. Golly. I'm having a hard time getting my knife up in there. I'm just gonna have to do it like that. And you wanna try to get into as little of the meat as possible so it's easier to peel the skin off. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, now that side's done. Now, you do the same thing on this side. I'm not gonna be able to, uh... actually no. Yeah. I can do it like this. Here we go. Here we go. Now I figured out a way. So now, what you do is do the same thing like what I did on the other side.
There we go. Just what I wanted. Oops. I can still peel the skin off. I'm kind of cutting into the meat a little bit. So I better stop right there. But I can peel the skin off like that. Okay. So now staying on the bottom. Cut right around the um, the I forget what these fins are, but it's the fins between the pectoral and the anal fin. Let's do let's go right around it. There we go. Here we go. Stay right, uh, just stay, you know, on the skin, just stay on the skin layer. Don't even try going into the meat. See what I, see what I did here? So that way you don't take this with it, because then, because this is the part of meat, this, some of the meat that you don't want right here, it's on this fin, because it's just gonna, it's mainly membrane in there. So now, do the same thing. No worries, he's already dead, so don't worry about him feeling anything. So now, same thing right here. Oops. There we go. Oops. Yeah, I'm kind of going towards myself a little bit, so. Crap. There we go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. See? It's not all we want. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take the guts out. Just so that way they're not in the way anymore. And this doesn't look like this has any eggs in it, so this one's probably a male. Bet you this is a male. Right here. Three pound male. It's probably... Here we go. It's the air bladder. Well, that's usually the toughest part to get out, but I got that out in a heartbeat. Oh, look. Got a fish oil here. Yep. Anybody need a fish oil? <laughs> oh boy, I'm kidding. That's okay. There we go. Just cut all the guts right out of there. And then I can start to work on top better because it'll be balanced. Here we go. Yep. It's got to be a male. I think it is. Alright. Okay. Oh, got something right here that I can get. Um. Nope. Oh, missed a couple of things. Or oh, wait a sec. Wait a minute. Is that an egg sack? Oh no, wait. This might be an egg sack. No, this might be actually be a female. She just doesn't have her eggs. And this part, you can actually cut off. This part right here, you can actually cut off, actually. I should have said that before. You can cut it off. There we go. Just cut it off. Take whatever's left on there out. Oh, never mind. That might have been part of the intestine, so this may still be a male. Okay. Now, I'm ready to work on top. Now, I'm ready to work on top. Okay. 
So now just go in right behind the head on top, wherever the meat starts, and just go right along the edge, go all the way down. There's like a bone right here, so if you come to that bone, you need to cut around it. Okay. Stay right on the skin, just like on the bottom. There we go. And then it'll peel off easily, and you can get the belly meat if you wish to. So now, do the same thing. On this side. Right. Here. Yeah, I'm not really holding the knife properly, so yeah. Just don't make any, you know, bad comments whatsoever about that. I'm trying my best for you guys. Just showing you like the steps I take. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, I nicked myself, but that'll happen. Yeah. Don't recommend. Yeah, don't ever cut towards yourself like I just did. Eh, ain't too bad of a cut. Hang on. Just kind of like. That's the third cut I've got on me right now. It literally is, guys. It's the third cut I have on me. That's why you want to use a sharper knife, because mine's a little bit, uh, a little bit dull. So, because you have a better chance of, you know, cutting yourself with a duller knife than you do a sharper knife. I'm very sure, I'm very sure you already know that. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to make sure. Okay, I'm good now. But, I got that part done. So now, let's go along. And at least it was on my thumb, so, you know, not the most, uh, sensitivity. So, I'm actually going to go like this, since I'm like, you know, just cut right along the backbone. I can actually do it like this now. Just go right along that back. And right here, you can kind of do what I like to call, kind of like the zipper. Where you basically just run through everything. Well, with a sharper knife. With a duller knife, kind of like what I have here. You know, I really thought this knife was sharp when I started, but I got dull, even though I haven't been really using it too much recently. Except for five pound catfish that I did earlier last week which I didn't get um, don't, oops yeah it's kind of a thing right there too I don't know how good of a video this is going to turn out to be but I just hope you guys enjoy it that's all I want to know is if you enjoy enjoy it okay and now just, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Just now you do the same thing on this side, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be cutting towards my, so actually, I'll get on this side. Just so it's safer. Right here, back up a little bit. Just do the same thing. This, the, 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 the uh, the incision of the the incisioning of the of the skin is usually the longest part for me. The meat usually takes me a lot less time to do it. I just hope this video doesn't turn out to be a half an hour. So I hate that. I'd rather it be a half an hour catching bass or catfish, you know. I need to put a cat this summer guys, I'm gonna put up some catfishing videos. I just need, I just need to make sure I find a good time when the catfishing's good. Because out here at Lake Pflugerville, the catfishing's pretty good in the summer. Alright, so now I got it. Now I got everything where I can get my 
where I get my pliers and just peel it off. So what I do, make a little incision just to make kind of a make kind of a, a flap. I'm gonna do the same thing through the other side. Make an incision. Just make a little flap. Now you can start to And if you have a pair of catfishing skinning, catfish skinning pliers, then that'd be much better to use because these pliers don't really have the best grip. But it's all I got right now. I don't know what happened to my catfishing skinning pliers. My catfish skinning pliers. I don't know what happened to them, but you know. All right. Ugh. Doing okay. There we go. All right, it's all skin. Just throw that in the water. If you're near water, if you're filleting it like I am. And then this cooks through easily, and this is easy to scrape off when you cook it. Whether you fry it in the frying pan or deep fry it or grill it, you know, whatever, bake it, smoke it, whatever you like to do with your catfish, you know. I can eat, you know, it's usually easy to scrape off. Any leftover skin membrane, it's usually pretty easy to scrape off. Get on this side because I'm going to need to kind of push inward. There we go. Golly. Yep. Come on. Yep, like I said, these pliers don't have the best grip to them. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I missed a... thought I missed a spot. Yeah, and all the... Catfish there in Lake Fleurville, they usually all have their barbs cut off, but this guy has his barbs. Yep. Hang on. So if I'm having that kind of trouble, what I'll do is go right in there. If you can get in there. Crud. If that. Oh, God. Yeah. I usually don't have this much stress when cleaning a fish. This is one of those days, you know. here from the actually you know what what will be easy is if I go from the bottom too I might have just split the skin in two. Gosh. Got an idea. Try this out. Oops. Went into the meat.
here we go. It's getting there now. There we go, finally. And I took off a little bit of belly meat, but that's okay. All right, let's chunk that in the water. Now, ready to start playing. So what I'll do is I'll start with the belly meat first. Just go right where, right on the edge of the bone that's down here on the There we go. And then just, yeah. There we go. It's one piece. And then, got your second piece right here. Wherever that bone ends, right there. There we go. And just fly right along the rib cage. There we go. Another piece. And I got plastic bags with me, so I'm good. I'm set. Now. Now, just do what, you know, most would typically do, which is to, you know, go, let's just scrape right along the backbone. It's probably the best, it's probably the best way to do a catfish. It's my favorite way to do a catfish. Whoops, okay. Here we go. And you can either try to cut through the ribs or cut around the ribs. I usually try to cut around, but if it's easier, it's quicker for you to, you know, cut through. You know, depending on what type of mood you're in, that's fine. Just pull it off. Lean carcass. Good fillet off of that. It's about maybe a good three-quarter pound fillet right there. And you do the same thing for the other side. Sometimes this side will be a little bit trickier. So on this side, what I like to do is I actually like to find the top of the backbone and then, hang on, get on this side and do it. That belly meat out of the way. What I like to do is actually find the top of the backbone and just go kind of Yeah, you know what? This is 
Okay, here we go. And actually, I'm just going to do it like this. Just because... Oh, you know. Crud. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Yeah, this side you can kind of do a little different too. There we go. There we go. All right, there we go. Another good fillet. About the same size. Really, really clean carcass. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, hang on. Still a little bit of meat right here I can salvage. Or maybe not. Oh, no, that's just ribs. Okay. And just throw the carcass in the water. Okay. All right. That was my... Uh, my video on how to fillet a catfish. Um, hang on. Get off. This phone don't want to come out of the bracket. There we go. All right. Yep. Why? What do you know? Took took nearly half an hour, but it's okay. All right. I'll see you guys later.